Yo, what's up, Bali? How you guys doing? Apa kabar? And selamat pagi. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to cut lines at the airport in Bali. How to avoid a long, long line at the airport in Bali. Because it's been one month, airport in Bali is so crazy, so, so crowded. So, watch the video until the end. My name is Soki Misa. I'm your host in Bali. Welcome to What's Up Bali channel, the number one channel for you to know how to travel to Bali, Bali travel regulation, and condition in Bali now. If you're interested on those, consider to subscribe. Guys, as you may already know, it's been one month, airport in Bali is so, so crazy, so crowded. People have to spend three hours, four hours, it's even five hours happen, like written here in this media, just to get out from the airport. So crazy, so crowded. So first, let us find out how many counters you have to pass when you arrive at the airport in Bali. After you're off from the airplane, you will go to the first counter, which is the health protocol counter. In that counter, they will ask, have you registered to Peduli Lindungi app? If you haven't registered yet or you don't know how, just go to my previous video, this one, I show you step by step it's very easy and then they're gonna ask for your vaccine certificates how many doses they already have if you only have one dose then you have to do five days quarantine they're gonna give you a letter which you have to show it to your hotel when you do check-in and if you don't have a vaccine certificate let's say because you have a special condition that you cannot get vaccine you have to show them a letter from doctor or hospital saying that you cannot get vaccine and for those who experience got infected by COVID-19 you have to show them a COVID-19 certificate and letter from doctor saying that now you cure and you're not infectious anymore so for those who already have at least two doses of vaccine or for those who have a letter saying that you cannot get vaccine because your special health condition or for those who already got infected by COVID-19 and now it's cured and not infectious anymore, you guys don't need to do quarantine. Okay, from those first counter, the health protocol counter, you go to the next counter, which is the visa on arrival counter for those who belong to these 75 countries. If you are a citizen of these 75 countries, you can post this video to find out if your country is there. You're entitled to get visa on arrival at the airport in Bali. So first you line up at the uh, visa on arrival cashier to pay the visa, which is 35 US dollars, more or less. And then you line up again at the visa on arrival counter to get stamp. After your passport got visa on arrival stamp, then you continue line up at the immigration. Of course, for those who come with the B211A visa or KITAS, you can just go straight line up at the immigration. You don't have to go to the visa on arrival counter. And at the immigration counter, as usual as any immigration in all countries ask, they're gonna check your visa, they're gonna ask the purpose of your stay, they're gonna ask where you're gonna stay, etc. You know, the basic immigration question. Then from there, you go to the baggage claim. You know, waiting for your bag to in the carousel, you know. This sometimes take long, you know, when several airplanes come almost the same, you're also queuing up back there, back behind the carousel. Then you go to the custom, and then you get out from the building. So now you know how many counter that you have to line up. The health protocol counter, the visa on arrival cashier, the visa on arrival stamp, the immigration counter, the baggage claim waiting for your bag, and the custom. So there are six places where you're gonna line up. And if some airplane come in this almost the same time, you're not only waiting for three or four hours, happened before, people wait for five hours to be able to get out from the airport. Can you imagine after so many hours flying and then you have to face this number of lineup. Well, understand that situation. I'm offering you the Wasabali Bahala VIP airport service. By only paying 85 US dollars per person, our team at the airport will meet you immediately when you get off from the airplane. They're gonna lead you all the way from the first counter, second counter, third counter, fourth counter, fifth counter, sixth counter through the VIP lines, which is shorter and faster. So let me tell you briefly how it goes. At the moment you off the plane, somebody will greet you and ask you to follow them. Don't worry, they're wearing a black jacket. So you go with him to the first counter, the health protocol counter. You're not gonna line up at the uh, regular line. Then as usual, they're gonna check your Peduli Nungi application is already registered or not. And then they're gonna check your vaccine certificate or letter from doctor. My team will help you with that so it will be faster. Then from there, if you need the visa on arrival, you go with him to the visa on arrival counter. Okay, listen, for the visa on arrival, actually you can pay me in advance. Same price, 35 US dollars to stay 30 days, which is 
can be extended later on at the immigration. So if you already paid through me, my team will ask you to be seated and wait for him to process your visa on arrival. He's gonna take your passport for a while to get visa on arrival stamp. So he's the one who's gonna do the job. But if you still wanna pay by yourself, then one of you can follow him, go through the visa on arrival cashier to pay. And then when you already pay, you can go back to your family while my airport team will do the stamp. Easy. Then after you got your visa on arrival stamp, you're gonna follow him to the immigration counter. But if you're coming with the b 2 visa, let's say because you're not one of those 75 countries or you plan to stay more than 60 days or you have planned to later on apply a kitas, you can just go straight to the immigration from the health protocol counter. You don't have to stop at the visa on arrival counter. And if you're wondering how to get the b 2 visa, just email me. I can do your b 2 visa easy. Just send me email. I'm gonna do your b 2 visa. All I need is photo of a passport and your vaccine certificate, minimum two doses. Okay, let's back to our story. When you arrive at the immigration counter, you're not gonna line up at the uh, regular line, but you go through the VIP line, which is shorter and faster. The immigration officer will not ask so many questions because actually they already got your data. That's why when you register for VIP service, I will ask you your passport. So just a quick cross check and then chop chop. Welcome to Bali. Then after the immigration, you go to the baggage claim, you know, waiting for your bags on the carousel. In that area, you also just wait there. My team at the airport will help you to get the bag so it's gonna be faster. And then from there, you go to the custom, also VIP service, and then bye-bye. Welcome to Bali, you're off the building. You can go to find your driver there. Anyway, let's say now you're out of the airport, you're out of the building. Then what? Well, find your driver. If you don't have one, you can also order a airport pickup through me. How much? Well, it depends where you're going. If to any hotels in Ubud, which takes uh, one and a half hour, it's only 24 US dollars one car and maximum only four person. And at the moment you landed at the airport, you'll receive a WhatsApp from my driver. And also I'm gonna let you know the driver WhatsApp number, so easy. Now everything can be organized before you leave your country. VIP airport service and a driver that already waiting for you outside. How about that? And if you want to book a car with the English speaking driver, so can be your guide also to explore Bari, it's also possible. For half day, five hours, it's only 38 US dollars. That's already include the driver, the gas, and the car. And for full day, which is 10 hours, it's only 52 US dollars. No, okay, no, no. I just want to explore Bali with scooter. We just want to enjoy Bali, getting lost, find a hidden games by ourselves. Good! But you need a license for that. Because if you got stopped by police, let's say if you hit somebody or somebody hit you, which is, hope you're not, really. If you don't have a driving license, then your fine will extra 100 US dollars. Or you forgot how you hamlet and then got stopped by the police, again, extra fine 100 US dollars. So, I can help you with your license. Motorbike driving license or car driving license, I can help you with that. International driving license, which valid for five years. No more extra fine, 100 US dollars. Email me again. How about that? You don't need to be worried if the line will be long. You don't need to be worried if the immigration asks you so many questions. Not to be worried, got scammed for transportation, the airport transfer. And if you wanna rent scooter or car, you have the driving license. No need to worry at all. I'm here to serve you. Okay, Misa, your host in Bali at your service. So share this video so more and more people know about this progress about this news hit the subscribe button for those who haven't then smash the notification bell so you won't miss any update from me regarding how to travel to bali bali travel regulation and condition in bali now my name is okimisa i'm your host in bali see you in the island of god get prepared and stay safe